Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, and I've been an avid tent camper for over 55 years. About two months ago, I posted a video that listed my five top picks for the best camping kitchen shelters for the year 2021. But after posting that video, I realized that I had not explained why most families should buy a camp kitchen shelter. Nor did I fully describe the different structures that could be used as camp kitchen shelters or explain their respective strengths and limitations. Furthermore, I realized that useful information about camp kitchen shelters is very hard to find. For example, most clerks in camping outfitting stores only have backpacking experience and have no knowledge at all about family kitchen shelters. And most stores don't have different types of camping shelters set up so that you could examine the differences for yourself. On the internet, you can find a few articles and a few YouTube videos that list quote, the best shelters for this year, but these articles and YouTube videos are very superficial and do not provide detailed information that allow families to decide which particular type of shelter best fits their needs. And so I decided to examine camp kitchen shelters in more detail so that I can provide information to help families decide which one best meets their specific family situation needs. In this video, I will explain how a camp kitchen shelter will enhance your overall comfort and enjoyment on future family camping trips. Now, I have already discussed tarp shelters and hubbed sidewall pullout shelters in two previous videos, and I plan to add two more videos that will discuss accordion roof easy up type shelters and umbrella tent type structures. All kitchen shelters provide some protection from rain, but some do it much better than others. So if you live in an area that gets a lot of rain like we do, look for a shelter that is waterproof or has a hydrostatic head of over 2,000 millimeters. Shelters with slanted legs or sloped sidewalls will have a relatively small roof and thus provide less rain protection. While shelters with straight legs and walls have larger roofs that provide more protection from rain and sun. For more complete protection from blowing rain, add sidewalls. If the shelter does not come with sidewalls, you can use fabric shower curtains. If you typically camp in a dry climate, you can make do with a shelter that just has a water resistant roof. But you may want to spray that roof with a silicone spray and seal the seams just to improve the water resistance. A second way that a kitchen shelter can make your camping trip more enjoyable is to provide protection from the harmful effects of the sun. In particular, a good shelter blocks UV radiation that can cause sunburn, skin cancer, and cataracts. Older campers can especially appreciate these benefits. A good shelter can also block bright sunlight that can make it difficult to read and perform other routine chores. Furthermore, a few very good shelters can provide cooling shade from the hot midday sun, but most shelters do not. And those with mosquito netting may become unbearably hot on hot summer days. For maximum sun protection, buy a shelter with a white or silver roof, removable mesh netting, and then open the doors, pull out the sidewalls, buy a fan, 
and wear a white, water-soaked cotton shirt. The wind can make your camping trip uncomfortable in many different ways, but a good kitchen tent with sidewalls can prevent many of the problems caused by the wind. For example, a kitchen tent with sidewalls keeps blowing rain out of your food and away from your clothes. The sidewalls can block the chilling effect of wind, especially when you've been sweating or your clothes are wet. The sidewalls also block the wind that could affect your stove flame and make it difficult to simmer foods over a low flame. And finally, the sidewalls allow you to enjoy a meal without having to chase cups, plates, and napkins that are blown away by the wind. Sometimes the temperatures drop a little lower on a camping trip than you expect, especially early in the morning and late at night. But a good kitchen shelter with sidewalls and a space he heater can provide a very warm respite from those cold temperatures. And finally, a good kitchen tent with sidewalls can give you privacy when you need it. For example, it gives you a place right in your campsite where you can change clothes, take a bath, go to the bathroom, or do whatever else you need to do in a little bit of privacy. Before concluding, let me share a few of my opinions about bug protection. If you watch many screen tent videos or advertisements, you might think that bugs cause a tremendous amount of discomfort on most camping trips. But that would be wrong. Over the last 55 years, I have camped in about 300 different campgrounds spread across 23 different states and one Canadian province. And with only about a half a dozen exceptions, I have never felt that I needed a screen tent to protect me from bugs. Rain, hot sun, wind, and cold have been much bigger discomforts, and so I have used just a tarp shelter for most of those 55 years. When we had a problem with mosquitoes or flies or other bugs, I just added a fan and that helped to blow them away uh, and sometimes added a citronella candle for mosquitoes and today a thermocell unit. But tarp shelters can be hard to set up and do not protect you from mosquitoes, flies, and bees when these bugs are pesky. And so if you frequently camp somewhere where mosquitoes, flies, or bees are pesky, then you may want to buy a screen house as your camp kitchen shelter. If you have a shelter without mesh sidewalls, you can buy sidewalls for many shelters or make them from a fabric shower curtains. And you can also buy large screen panels for about $15 that will cover a one 10 foot span. For maximum protection, make sure your sidewalls come all the way down to the ground so that bugs can't fly under them. After you've bought a kitchen shelter and set it up, the next question is what should you put inside of it and how should you arrange it for maximum comfort? In particular, should you set up with the campsite picnic table inside of your shelter? If you ride around any popular campground, you'll quickly see that most campers do put their kitchen shelters over their picnic tables. But I suggest that this arrangement does not provide as much comfort as you could have with your kitchen shelter. Because a picnic table, along with its benches, occupies a relatively large amount of ground space right in the middle of the shelter, 
where you get the best rain and sun protection, where the ceiling is the highest, and where it would be the easiest place for most people to walk around without having to stoop over. And in some campgrounds, the picnic table is so large that it extends out beyond the front door and prevents you from zipping it up for bug protection. Furthermore, a picnic table does not provide a comfortable kitchen counter for chopping vegetables, mixing ingredients, cooking meals, or performing other routine kitchen chores, nor does it provide a comfortable place to relax. And so I suggest for maximum comfort, camping families should buy two or three small folding tables and arrange them along the outside edge of the shelter where the roof may be a little lower and the sidewalls may be a little sloped or in other words, where it would be a little more difficult to walk around. If you need to eat a meal in the shelter, you can always pull one of your small tables out to the center uh, and set up your folding chairs around it for the meal and then put everything back where it belongs after the meal. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this little video and I hope that you've learned something that will help you decide whether a camp kitchen shelter is a good investment for your particular situation and to help you decide which one would best fit your own particular personal and family needs. For more information about camp kitchen shelters, you can find four other videos on this topic on this YouTube channel and I hope to post two more in the near future. Also, visit my website, moderntentcamping.com. You can find a link to this website in the description below. Read my book titled Basic Tent Camping and visit my Facebook page titled Modern Tent Camping. Thanks for watching.